want to go out again. I'm tired of it. I'm over it. I'm sick of it. When I try, like, shit like this happens and dating apps suck. Hey people, people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. So this video is, I know like it is an interesting conversation and I need you guys to stay with it. And I know some women are feeling this way. Some women are like in this space and I feel like this is a good conversation to have. So this video is a video of a woman who came online to talk about how she was crying and she was literally talking about how dating sucks, how meeting new people, how finding a man is hurt. And she wanted to share her experience, how her effort, because she has tried dating apps and yet dating apps are not working. And she's like, you know what, probably she should put herself out there to probably meet people and all that and all that. And she was like, you know what, it's still trashy. Like, the people out there, they're not. So she said she's in a, a group or something, a chat where they invite people to events and all that. And she tried to go out on this event in the hope of meeting somebody, meeting a man and all that. And when she got there, she saw all the people coupling up and all that. And there was a scenario that happened where she was being made to sit on the front line of this. It was like a comedy live thing. And everything was being thrown at her. But that just made her to realize how lonely and how isolated she is at that point because everybody was couple up in their space and all that and i know that this is something that some women that are still i'm not saying that women that are century themselves don't feel lonely i'm not saying that but i'm also saying that a lot of women that are still center men that really like crave relationships some women don't center men they center the same but they still crave that relationship being with a man and all that and i know with the type of dynamic how relationship is going and the type of men that is out there it's almost impossible to really find that authentic person meet people with good intentions and all that so i feel like this video is a very nice conversation to have so let's go check out what the sister have to say because this also led to women sharing their thoughts on this so let's go hear what she has to say and then we'll come back and talk more I'm not someone that posts or cries or anything on the internet. So this is, this is a new one for me. Um, I just, I guess I need, I need girls to rally with me and lift me up because I feel so defeated right now. Um, I've been trying to meet someone, just anybody worth my time for years. And like, and dating apps are so awful. I don't need to explain to you how awful the dating apps are. So I've been trying to meet people in public and they're still trash when I do randomly meet people in public. But tonight takes the cake. Um, last week I was like, I'm part of an app that you can basically get invited to these events. And there was a comedy thing coming up and I, I bought a ticket and thought, Maybe I'll meet people here. Maybe I'll meet meet a guy or like just just meet people in general that like I can become friends with and then you know who knows what could happen. Mm -hmm. And let me just tell you how this went. Um I show up, it, it's a limited seating, get there first, like it's view it was like an open bar and in my head I'm a prompt person, so I got there like 20 minutes beforehand, and I happened to be the first person there. Okay, kind of weird, but okay. Um, they tell me, since it's an intimate thing, uh, sit, try to sit in the front row because it's going to be hard to get people squishing through there, and it's a sold-out show. Okay, that's fine. I sit in the front row, and it's, it's about showtime, and I'm realizing, like, Nobody else is in the front row. It's just just me. Um, everybody's like filled in in the back. Like every row's filled with all the couples, of course. And then it's just me. Um, I guess people like some people had. I mean, of course, some people are gonna drop out and not show up. But the host of the show comes up to me really quickly and, and like mouths thank you for like sitting in the front row. And she proceeds to go up front or go up onto the stage and um, point it out. Like, had everyone clap for me for 
for being brave enough to sit in the front row and like that was fine like I get it like you know people are afraid to sit in the front row and I was kind of excited for it when I thought there was going to be people there um and it was just ironic that like the reason I was there was to meet people and it was like I was a piranha um so she informed the crowd that like I was safe from being picked on because I was brave enough to sit there and I'm like oh okay so like the next few comics come up and they both kind of point out like are you waiting on people or like what's going on here and I'm you know have to admit like no I'm trying to meet people and you know they're, again they're nice they're not being mean to me about it but it's just it's mortifying it's mortifying um and then another comic comes up and again it's just like you're pretty but like you know and it's just yeah um so by the end of the show uh the lady comes up and says that they normally do a raffle um to win this prize because it was kind of at like a boutique type thing and and but instead of the raffle she's going to give this thing filled with stuff to the brave young woman who came first and sat alone in the front row and then she had me introduce myself what's your name Anya and like everybody's <laughs> as if like brave me and she tells me to uh make sure to give my email to so-and-so to get like some gift card or something and like this is all in front of everybody and I just like I know nobody's sitting there like oh my god look at this girl but like it's just like feels like such a slap in the face and I'm not even mad at the comics I'm not even mad at the lady like I would probably think the same thing but like just for this point in my life, like, it just feels like, Jesus. Like, I don't want to go out again. I'm tired of it. I'm over it. I'm sick of it. When I try, like, shit like this happens. And dating apps suck. And then I get into an Uber on the way home because I can't go have a drink like I wanted to because I have this giant full of shit to carry around and I get in this uber and it's this 75 year old woman with her dogs and she won't stop talking about her dogs and like how she got an oil change and what'd you do tonight and was the comedy show good and like I'm being nice and polite but all I can think about is like this is this is gonna be me like and I know that's a worst case scenario and it's not even like that's a terrible thing to be single all your life but like I just can't help but feel like like I'm going to turn into this because I'm never going to meet someone. And for everybody who's going to tell me, it'll come along when you least expect it. I want, I've been hearing that for like seven years, okay? I'm so sick of hearing that. There's such a thing as people that just don't find their person and don't get married. So like, I'm a, I'm a realist. And the realist in me is starting to think, like, that's going to be me. And I, I'm depressed now over it. <laughs> as pathetic as that sounds. And, yeah, I just, yeah. I'd like to know your take about what she said down in the comment section. What are your thoughts? Go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Okay, love to know your take on this. But I feel like what this woman is feeling is very justified and there are a lot of women out there that feel this way. Especially when they really want to be with someone, they just feel like... And especially when they are trying not to settle for just anything, they want something solid, it's going to be hard to find a relationship. But also, I have so much to say, but this also got a lot of people a lot of women to respond to this and all that i have a lot to say because you see that fear they put the women of being alone and it's a real thing like it's a real thing there are a lot of women that dread being alone i could be that person too okay so i get it so let's go check out other people's thoughts on this and i'll come back and share more of my thought but please go share your own thought down in the comment section but before we get into other people's response if you haven't subscribed to the channel 
what are you waiting for go ahead and smash the subscribe button down there and click the notification bell so you get notified once i upload video i post video every single day so you don't want to miss out on the conversation two videos every day okay so you don't want to miss out on the conversation so let's go check out other people's thoughts on what the sister has to say and then we'll come back and talk to the brave young woman who came first and sat alone in the front row for god's sake can we please normalize going out and doing things alone. This is like the third or fourth video I've seen in a couple of weeks where people have been made to feel embarrassed or awkward about going out somewhere by themselves. I love going places by myself and I'm married and I still do it all the time. It's fine. I was out running errands yesterday and I went to go sit down in a restaurant at a table to eat by myself. It's fine and it shouldn't be considered weird and nobody should be made to feel weird for doing it. This poor woman went to a comedy show and they pointed out the fact that she was by herself through the whole show. Every freaking comic that got out there kept pointing her out and making an example of her in front of everybody. And they didn't mean to be mean. But my God, I've seen people come on here going into a restaurant and people questioning, not wanting to let them have a table because they're alone. Mm -hmm. If you work in the service industry or you work in hospitality, please do not pick, make people feel uncomfortable by being by themselves. There are all kinds of reasons why you might need to or want to go out and do things by yourself, and it's fine. It should not be weird, and it should not be considered abnormal. And for God's sakes, it's not brave. It just is just is i feel so defeated right now this woman recounts a story of feeling deep shame when people were treating her with kid gloves in an event that she went to a comedy event that she went to when she was alone and i wanted to talk about it first of all there was some you know cognitive distortions there where she's like everyone else was coupled at this event no they weren't there were single people also at the event you just happened to be singled out because you were sitting in the front row alone and that was not cool of them like they set you up for that and i hope you realize that like you were like everyone's being nice everyone's being nice they weren't being nice they like they set you up to be in the front row alone okay. but fundamentally what i hear happening here is would i have been annoyed that they lied to me about the front row yeah but I wouldn't have felt deep embarrassment about being single and alone at a comedy event. I go to things alone all the time and there is no sense of embarrassment even if other people are projecting embarrassment onto me. I can't tell you that you're gonna find your person. I don't know and that's a different video about why we're all having so much trouble finding people. The thing that I will tell you is it will help if you are less ashamed of your singleness. Your internal sense that mm -hmm. it is shameful to be alone magnified the situation. Stoics would call this a judgment that you have placed on the situation that changed your emotions. I hope you can find ways to remove that judgment from being single because yeah. I don't want you to get into a relationship just for the sake of not being mm -hmm. alone. That is one of the worst things you can do. Mm -hmm. Please don't do that to anyone listening. Please don't do that. It's perfectly acceptable to go to comedy events alone. That's normal. I do it all the time. I love going to them alone. If you want to keep doing it, I would keep some stuff in your back pocket for if a, a comic decides to do some, you know, crowd work on you. But that's just my personality. You might just, you could just be like a shy little lamb, but I'm not. Why are you single? It's a supply chain issue. That kind of thing. How long would you least expect it? I want... Okay, so she does not want people to tell her that it's going to come along, you know, the one will come along when you least expect it. And I am not going to tell you that because I completely get how you're feeling. I was told that over and over. I went from a seven year relationship to being single for five years. And in the beginning, I really liked being single. I just embraced it and I wasn't really worried about finding the next person. But then I, you know, it, the time kept increasing of being single and I was like, maybe I should try. So then came the time when I started the dating apps and I think it was for like a year straight that I went on so many first time dates. And I don't think a single person, 
I think maybe one got a second date and I realized that I only agreed to the second date because I might have just been a little bit too drunk on the first one and you know thought something was there when it just wasn't but I honestly have so many awful first time um dating stories that I could share I would literally just tell them to my friends for entertainment because it's like all I could really do and I was surrounded by friends that were like in committed relationships or married at that point and I was just like so so single and then I finally found somebody and we dated and I met him like organically and I was like great this is like what everybody must be talking about um when they say like it'll happen when you least expect it blah 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 um, no, he was like the worst relationship ever. Um, and then after that one, I found my fiance. But what I will say, no matter what, is just like enjoy the phase of life you're in. And I know that's hard when you want something so bad, but I feel like the more you want something, almost like the farther away it gets from you. I feel like as long as you're learning something about yourself or other people through the process, then it's still a win. And I genuinely think that, like, you will still find your person. That lady most likely was, like, divorced or single by choice, to be honest. But either way, she seemed pretty happy to me, so... I'm not someone that posts... Okay, I'm hopping on here because, girl... I need okay you're probably not gonna watch this um so this message is for anyone who resonates with this girl story your story Anya if you're watching this I really hope you do watch it um if you don't that's totally fine but I still feel in my heart that I want to say a couple things um because that was me two years ago. Um, I was in just so depressed because I had not met anyone. Everyone that I met was awful. Everyone was terrible. And um, I was um, a lover girl. I wanted to be with someone so badly. Um, and for context, right now, I am single. Just like so. Thank you. I can get into that in a minute but so I'm not coming to you with this as someone who's in a happy relationship and has been in many happy relationships okay so something happened to me though and I hated the advice I hated the advice or the thing that people say where it will happen when you least expect it that made me want to punch people in the face actually all advice made me want to punch people in the face you should still try the dating apps you should go to this place you should pick up a hobby you should do all these things all these things made me so angry because you know what that's not how it works okay. you're not magically you can go to every hobby and every sport every event every concert literally everything you can start going in other cities not even in your city you can go to every bar and eat dinner by yourself you can do anything and you will still not meet the right person mm -hmm. and it's because you are literally your energy is repelling repelling it i'm telling you this with the most love in my heart i mean that because i was doing that too okay and I still do that with other things um that everything you said was a self-fulfilling prophecy a little bit to me okay you going to that concert or you going to the comedy show be to me people first mistake first mistake I need you to sit with yourself Anything that you do and you're doing, and that includes going to the grocery store at certain times of the day, going to certain restaurants, taking certain routes. If you are doing that in an attempt, thinking you're going to meet people or meet someone, it's, n it's not going to happen, mm -hmm. in my opinion, from what I have seen. It's never going to happen. 
the second you take your foot off the gas, do some self-reflection of who are you? Like, who are you? You already are kind of there. You're thinking like, oh, I'm going to be the dog Uber driver lady. I might be alone. Okay. So you're alone. But you can't be this miserable anymore. If you're alone and you're going to be alone for the rest of your life, you cannot be this miserable because that's not what we're here on this earth to do. We're also not here to be in relationships or to be like with a romantic partner. We're here to love, to give love, to receive love, to have love. Mm -hmm. And you need to do that with yourself first. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you need to journal or do whatever, but you need to think like, what are the things that I love to do? Um, I really love the Disney Pixar movie Inside Out. This really helps with like thinking of your mind is like your pillars and like thinking back to when you were younger, what was the things that like made you just joyous and happy and kind of re-exploring those things and then move forward and every single day you should only be doing the things that you want to do that make you happy that make you feel good not thinking at all about meeting people or meeting a person Mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna give you just like some examples really quick so for me i did this first of all two years ago i was on the apps i was so desperate i was so desperate um I would go to restaurants instead of the bar at dinner. I only went to the grocery store at certain times. I just did all these things all with the intention of like I want to meet someone. Meanwhile, I hated myself. Mm. Okay. So then once I stopped doing that and thought like what are the things that I love to do? I love going on long walks outside. Um, I love going to the grocery store when it's convenient for me and not dark outside and scary. Um, I love reading. Those are all activities that like, you really don't get to meet people that way. Like reading, I do at my house, going on long walks outside, usually by yourself, going to the grocery store, like all those things. But once I started doing that, and taking care of me and what I love to do, the relationship with myself got so much better and I became so much happier. And all of that energy that I was like exerting, that was like saying like, I want to meet someone just went away and all went back into me. And within three months I met my ex now, but I had met someone who literally was very good boyfriend for me at the time and we were together for a year and a half and anyway now on to the next one but just hearing your story I just wanted to tell you that I hope this helps this is super long but I feel you girl and I really really want what's best for you and I hope you receive this okay goodbye Please go down in the comment section, share your thoughts, share your story. Love to know what you think about this conversation down in the comment section. But please, you guys know how we do it here. We do it respectfully. We share our thoughts. We're allowed to disagree. Disagreement is normal, yeah? Having a different lifestyle, a different process, the way you process them, it's fine. It's okay. It's not a bad thing to disagree. But please do it respectfully as always, okay? I love the way you guys have conversation. Like, you guys know I'm amazing. Um... So here's my take on this. I know for sure there are some women that feel this way, that really feel the need. They feel so ashamed of being single. They feel so ashamed of being alone or going out alone. And the truth of the matter is that I'm that woman. Like, I, the old me, I would not want to go anywhere alone. I'm either going with my husband, I'm going with my friend, but I don't want to go anywhere alone. But since I start getting to know myself, loving myself, and I come to realize my personal experience and my personal thought is I got to find out that because I don't even know who I am and I don't love myself, it was really awkward for me to do things alone. Like I could not see myself doing it. Like if nobody's coming with me, I'm not going. 
and that comes from a lot of insecurity a lot of lack of love self-love and by the time i start going through my healing process knowing who i am what i am i'm in that place do i still sometimes feel awkward going out to places alone going out for lunch drink i like going out with friends with my friends and all that do i still feel a little bit of awkward yes but i'm in that place now where i am comfortable going out alone going out for lunch going out for, to grocery by myself i always want to carry somebody like let's go let's do this let's do this there's always less 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 and i come to realize that when it comes to the place of oh you're looking for a relationship you're looking of meeting somebody i know that the work starts with yourself. You're on this channel, we're not yet saying that, oh, no relationship, 100%, but what we're saying is that be very intentional and don't settle for the bare minimum just because you want to be in a relationship. And the way this woman is um, at, and she's really sad about her being single, it will get to a point when she might probably just settle for just anything, just for the fact for her to be in a relationship or for her to escape this feeling she's feeling. But if you're feeling this way, I'm telling you from someone that, has, that is doing the work, that is still working process, that loves herself, that is that starts the work for asking yourself, why do I feel this so much urge and need to have a partner? There's no right or wrong answer to that, but ask yourself why. And then ask yourself, are you treating yourself with grace? Are you t treating yourself with love? Do you love yourself? A lot of the times, because we women were naturally raised not to even know ourselves, not to love ourselves, we're only trained to pour into people, give people so much of us, which they call love, because we're pouring so much of ourselves into other people. For me, I don't consider that as love. I feel like you can't give what you don't have. You can't claim you love somebody so much. You can't claim you're ready to be in a love romantic relationship when you've not loved and romantized like just really being in yourself and in your element i just feel like you can't say you want that or you do that when you've not done it to yourself so you can't give what you don't have literally you can't say i want to give you meat pie and you don't have it you don't even have one for yourself so how are you going to give somebody what you don't have so when you're in this place and you know you're in this place to go to the work go find yourself find who you are find why you're so you need somebody so much right now i'm in the place where i am like i'm so self-sufficient <laughs> like i still love my space i still love being alone i still want to be alone last year i've said this a couple of times last year i went on a trip and it was just me it was a two week trip one week my friend from the u.s came and she left about she did six days and the rest of the days i was all by myself initially i was very anxious very nervous because this is the first time i was going out of the country and this is the first time i was doing it all by myself and this was coming from me being like i didn't want to go on a trip without my husband and he's busy and all the years we've been married we could not really go on a trip because he's busy there's like there was really no right time to go but when i decided to do that that just really opened my eye to a different and i went out on a, a day like on dinner by myself like it was really a eye opening um experience for me where i just realized like like oh like i i the crazy that i now love it so much like i want to go out by myself i want to go go just take myself take that walk by myself go to the gym by myself before i i will not do those things by myself i'm always looking for somebody to tag along my husband my friend my sister my niece somebody to tag along but when you get to that place or when you've walked yourself and do that journey where you now know who you are what you are and you love yourself it will just come naturally like you just love yourself and you see when you are in that place where you're centering a man you're so eager to have a man like you're just going to attract all the wrong people like she clearly said everything so you're just going to attract the wrong people and this is why you're on this channel we're telling women to center themselves make yourself the center of your life and that shame that comes from women women being told oh if you're single you have to be ashamed that there's this shame and i know it has to do with society the world generally shame women that are single because they just always tell you they always put this fear mongering on us like oh if you're single you're going to be lonely it's a lie it's a lie that if you're single you're going to be lonely it just has to do with your mind and who you are and what where you are mentally and spiritually in your life when like mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm, you're not going to be alone there are a lot of women that are in relationship are in marriages that are lonely 
there are a lot of them like i can tell you for sure there are a lot of them that they can do like i just said for the longest time i could not even go on a trip with my husband because there was no time for him and that held me back and you don't want to look back in your life when you've grown old and all that and find out that you hold up to go through some certain experience because you were looking for someone you were hoping to meet someone so you didn't experience certain things you didn't go do things that you genuinely love i did a video a couple of days ago of a woman that was talking about how she regrets not doing certain things because of her husband because she was waiting on for her husband so that they can do things as a family you don't want to look back at certain things and say oh god i would have done these things when i had the time or when i was still alone when it was just me I personally, I am of that opinion. I, sometimes I look back and I'm like, I could have been more single. Yes, I got married at, at 29. I was just telling myself that I could have stayed longer, like I might not even have done marriage. Because I just feel like I did not experience, there are certain things I didn't experience, like living alone, being by myself, focus on myself. It was just after school, family house, then husband's house, straight up. I really wish I could go back in <laughs> time and really be in that space where it was like, I just feel like if I was, what I know now, I mean, knowing what I know now, who I am and how I handle myself and how I take care of myself, if I, if I have all this and I'm single, like it's just going to be, I feel like it's just going to be a blast or something that I would really have enjoyed. So, sis. There's nothing wrong with you because you're single. Enjoy your life. Do things that you genuinely love doing. Don't focus your life all about just meeting someone, meeting a man and all that. No. Just go ahead and live your life. Do, do, don't be so centered about looking for someone. Anyway, guys, please go down in the comment section. Love to know what you think about this amazing conversation down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful as always. Okay? Love to know what you think about this conversation. And share your story if you can okay and share your thoughts on it love to read from you guys don't forget to share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here we have banging conversations so go ahead and share this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up smash the like button because this helps youtube to push out my content for more people to see and that will be you supporting this channel and this girl yeah so go ahead and do that subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video Doofy.